Hey everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Mama Pies Before the Lesson podcast. I'm your host, Carlos Smiley. Every week on the podcast, we attempt to lift up the faith lessons that our spiritual protagonists had to learn as they grew into their calling. Hopefully, after today's conversation, we will all feel more personally and in tune with and understanding of the challenges that our biblical heroes in the upcoming Sunday School lesson had to deal with. The title of Sunday's lesson is Joseph Finds Favor. The spiritual basis for our lesson is Genesis chapter 41. Now, the last time that we connected, we were talking about Joseph's experiences at Potiphar's house, how he had worked his way up and proved himself worthy to Potiphar to the extent that Potiphar had put him in charge of everything at the house, well, except his wife. He'd arrived there as a slave and worked his way up to being in charge of everything. Then, evil returned in his life. You know, have you ever felt that way? You finally feel like you've turned a corner in your life, and all of a sudden, well, you know the deal. You know, having been betrayed by his brothers, having been left for dead down in the pit, having been sold like a piece of property, not once, but twice, having been lied on, talked about, looked down on, looked at funny, because you don't look a certain way, or you don't talk a certain way. Have you ever been there? Regardless of what you say to yourself, and regardless of how hard you try to forget, it's there, crouching at the door, waiting to remind you that you can't escape. It's at that moment, in the crucible of you trying to believe that change has finally come, you find yourself back in it. So the question that I have, and maybe you do too, is, well, how did we get from there to here? Let's dig in and see can we figure this thing out. The last words from last Sunday's lesson were, but the Lord was with Joseph. That, now in and of itself, is enough. Now the words that were not printed in last Sunday's lesson, they're still in the Bible. We'll go back to Genesis 39 and 21. Again, the first part was, but the Lord was with Joseph. But the second part was extremely important, even more so. Well, just as much so, I put it that way. And they are. And showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. In my mind's eye, you know, I can see God talking to Joseph late at night as he was trying to wrap his mind around going to prison. Telling him that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. You know, but here's the deal. It still hurts. It don't feel good. You still got to go through it. You still got to do the time. But here's the thing. Whose report are you going to believe? Whose side are you leaning on? So, the keeper of the prison did the same thing that Potiphar did. He recognized Joseph's leadership skills and abilities. And he ended up putting Joseph in charge of everything and everybody at the prison including the butler and the baker. Now, because of his God-given abilities, his ability to interpret dreams, you know, you know, you remember him telling his dreams to his brothers. You know, remember him arriving in Egypt as a slave, but rising to a leadership position in Potiphar's house. But also remember him refusing to acquiesce to Karen. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant uh, Potiphar's wife. Even though the Bible never mentions her name, her actions are absolutely consistent with a Karen. Feeling as though she was privileged and that everybody was supposed to obey her and do as she says because of where she supposedly came from. But I digress. Back to the dream of the butler and the baker. Here they are, their dreams bothering them and Joseph, because of his background, offering to help interpret them. Long story short, it worked out for the butler, not so much for the baker. The only request that Joseph made to the butler 
was that he remember him when he's restored to his position. And naturally, the butler forgot all about him. Until two years later, when he was back working for Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh started having some troubling dreams, and none of his boys could figure him out. Then, the butler remembered this dude back in prison that helped him out in figuring out his own troubling dream. Joseph came out and put his gifts on full display. You know, I've often heard that if you stay ready, then you don't have to get ready. He not only uses his gift of dream interpretation, and then he turns to providing advice because of his leadership, knowledges, skills, and abilities. You know, y'all remember scripture telling us that your gift will make room for you, and it'll bring you before great men. On this day, Joseph's gifts were on fleek. Pharaoh realized the talent that was in front of him, and as Joseph was still in front of him, sharing with the Pharaoh that he needed to find a dude that could manage feast as well as famine, Pharaoh simply looked at him and said, you that dude. So what we've seen through Joseph's life thus far is analogous to what King David said in Psalms 139, 7 through 12. Whither shall I go from, my, from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from me, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Again, that's Psalms 139, 7 through 12. So now, now we all know how we got from there to here. Now we know that God can and will use just ordinary people, people just like me and you. Now we know that regardless of our past, regardless of our hurt, regardless of our human deficiencies, when we finally align our wants and our needs with his purpose for our life, we can be confident in our calling and sure in our elect. Looking forward to next week's lesson as we go back in and dig a little deeper here on the Before the Lesson podcast. Until next time, be blessed. <laughs>